back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm just trying to make all my pockets obese. Don't want I just want the Lucci. So me and all of my poochies can eat. Put his loose chains, take his boot thing. Got the PF chains and take him K and steak or something. Something looking at me like I'm opaque or something. Don't I look like Drake or something? Something better tell mankind and the take it coming. Be sure to check back next week when I challenge Eric to a quick game of 2K. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. I was going to, you know, kind of take it easy on you, but now I might have to switch to 2K view and uh, do some work. Oh, my God. So here, here it goes. Yo, it's the 2K MC here to show what's going down in the neighborhood. We've got events lined up for. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello and welcome everybody. Tonight the Memphis Grizzlies match up against the Los Angeles Lakers at Staples Center. Looking at the Lakers, they took care of business in game one, protecting their home court. Tonight, a chance to extend their lead and assert their dominance in this series. They won the series opener. Chance here to hold serve, go up two zip. Jack, what's the key for them to take care of business? Well, you can't get complacent, and the effort has to be even greater this time around. Stop messing around and get to the effort. Ooh. Momentum from one game to another is overrated. In a series? Yeah, it's yeah. overrated. Because guys change up after the game. They kind of let it go. The best players in the world, I know, they're not elephants. They have short memories. They are not elephants. They forget. Both teams ready to tip off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan and the crew.
The Lakers coming through the tunnel with swagger. This looks like a team that's all set to go to work here at home. And the game arrival sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. The bronze likeness of Lakers great Magic Johnson that can be found just outside the front door of our location today, the Staples Center. We are just about ready to get underway here in game two of the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. 2K Sports brings it to you live once again. And tonight we've got the Memphis Grizzlies playing against the Los Angeles Lakers here in Staples Center. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. D.A., take it away. Well, we all saw the media frenzy that surrounded Anthony Davis when his plans to leave New Orleans emerged. He said, the things I do in the community, being a good teammate, playing hard, championships, all that stuff matters the most to me. Between money or legacy, my legacy will win that battle every time. Kevin? Winning a big part of it, David. Thank you. Now look at Memphis's starting group. Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. Morant and Brooks manning the backcourt. And it's Winslow in at the three. And for Los Angeles, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Green and Rondo in the backcourt. And it's Howard in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And it's going to be the Grizzlies off the tip. Morant with it. Six on the shot clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. And Davis sends it back. Boy, I tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground. And because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. Now Morant. That one's not going to go. So the Lakers will take it the other way. They come into the game following the win on Sunday. And guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And you know, confidence is key there. They seem to play with a ton of it, especially on the offensive end. And so the Los Angeles Lakers get the first points of the ball game. Back to Valen Judas, and it's sent back by Howard. And you know, this is a definite strength of Howard's game. I think he's a rim protector of an elite level. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Morant. And he makes good on the layup. And, and you know, it took them a while to get going, but they finally connected now on their fourth shot of the game. Rondo scanning the floor. Davis down low. Jackson on him. And it's Davis missing. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. Now here's Jackson. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Sometimes you just wonder, how did Morant see that guy? The vision is special. Outside Rondo. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Here's Davis. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. The Grizzlies have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Now here's Winslow. Here's Morant. And no good had a chance to take the lead there. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Rondo with a clean look. Offensive rebound. Davis. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make. He is one for four. 
and he gets one to fall, and now one out of his first four. Now here's Morant. He's covered by Rondo. On the wing, Jackson. Over Rondo. Jackson misses. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. The drive by Green. Here's the pass to LeBron. Shoots over Winslow. He drains the turnaround jump shot. You know, for LeBron, I think that mid-range shot is an important one for him to have in his bag. It keeps the defense honest. Defense! Defense! Pass to Morant. Defense! 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 Valanciunas. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Way to work the glass. Buffet style. Second chance bucket. They can make a big difference. Outside, Green. Here's Davis. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Davis has got his second bucket tonight. Just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways, and that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second-chance bucket. Alan Junis against Howard. Just five on the clock. And that's going to be a travel. Lakers ball. Here's Rondo. LeBron outside. The jumper from the free throw line is good. James has got his second basket of the game. Not going to miss many chances from that range. That's LeBron's wheelhouse there. Pass to Winslow. Inside and stolen by Howard. Here we go, James heading to the hoop. Well, you know, it would be fun to tabulate how many of LeBron's career points have come on the break. I would just venture to guess he's had a bunch of them. The Grizzlies trail by eight. And here's Morant. Pass to Valanciunas. And it's sent back by Howard. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Jones checked in for Morant. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 14-6 run. Howard with it. Now LeBron. And the rejection by Jackson. Green against Brooks. Jackson in the corner. Brooks the pass to Jones. Just four to shoot. Green with the rebound. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunities. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. He's off on the first. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. JaVale McGee's checked in for Howard. Kyle Kuzma comes in for James. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Green. And it's Waiters in for Rajon Rondo. Memphis also making some changes. Jang, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Clark comes in for Jackson. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Dylan Brooks. 
And he sinks the second. Lakers leading by seven. Waiters passes to McGee. Kicks it to Davis. Lock at six. Caldwell Pope outside. Shoots the three. Kept alive. And no good that time. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And it's Deion Waiters with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And Memphis making a change here. Anderson's checked in, so timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Here's Melton. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Melton passes to Clark. Knocked away. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. Here's Melton. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes the 13-footer. And you know what, call it great defense or a poor offense. Either way, they're limiting their scoring. Craig, bottom line is they're ahead on the scoreboard, and that's all that matters. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Well, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Now here's Jones. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Boy, and the wingspan McGee has covers a lot of ground. Very useful for shot block. And Davis can't get it to go. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. McGee with the block. Caldwell Pope outside. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. Anderson outside. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Jang finds Clark. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And there, Clark showing a little burst, trying to create some offense. He has the athleticism, and the defense isn't necessarily expecting it. The Grizzlies shooting their third and fourth free throw shot to the night. First one drops. Uh, the potential is there. For Clark, it's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile offensively. That one misses. Lakers leading by 10. 
Waiters right side. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Jones. And the pass to Melton. Anderson outside. Jang against McGee. And Jang picks to Clark. Hangs home the trifecta. Gorgie Jang doing a nice job getting the ball to the open teammate there. Nicely done. Caldwell Pope outside. Pass to Kuzma. Davis with it. And the Lakers with another turnover here. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. They trail by seven. Here's Melton. No points in the game yet for him. Jang, that one good for two. If you're guarding Jang, you know he doesn't mind being challenged. I mean, he's able to convert through physical play. As a matter of fact, the rougher it is, I think the more he likes it. Now here's Waiters. There's 154 left to play here in the first. And he recovers it. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Lakers shooting their first foul shot of the, the night. Lane. Find the lane. One shot. Davis is really the total package, a mobile, sharp-shooting big guy who can score from everywhere. The Grizzlies trail by eight. One forty-one left in the first quarter. Jang the pass to Melton. McGee with the block. Here's Waiters. And he banks in the layup. And it's a 10-point Laker lead. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. I like the activity there, keeping the ball alive and creating some second-chance buckets. Here's Melton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. He feeds it to Jang. Shoots over McGee. Jang, no luck. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punt blazing. To the right side. And there's the whistle. Three-second Three violation. Lakers leading by 12. Waiters outside. Pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. Shot clock at five. And Waiters kicks to Davis. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Kuzma. And that one goes long. Here's Anderson, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. First trip to the line for him here. And he makes the first. So he hits one of two from the strike. 
Caldwell Pope outside. Drains it from beyond the arc. Caldwell Pope's got five points so far. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Los Angeles Lakers. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebounding. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Oh, there's no doubt about it, guys. Without those second chance points, this game would have had a much different feel to it. We've got Caldwell Pope. Davis is out there with JaVale McGee. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And it's Waiters in at the point. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Los Angeles shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Davis. And both free throws good for Davis. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Jones looking for an opening. To the left side wing. The three. McGee with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Grizzlies able to retain possession here. And the Lakers making a change here. James has checked in. Here's Melton. Shot clock at six. The Lakers with the rebound. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player. It's called Will Pope. Love seeing that. Now here's Jones. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Clark, the pass to Jones. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on JaVale McGee. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. The Grizzlies have shot 50% from the line today. Three for six. And that one falls for Jones. Morant, he's checked in for Memphis. He's perfect from the line this time. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Anderson against James. And Will Pope up top. Waiters surveying the D. Passes it to LeBron from deep. It's Clark with the rebound. The Grizzlies trail by 16. Jones kicks to Morant. Here's the teardrop. Here's Clark. 
Guzma with the defensive effort. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. The Grizzlies have gone five of eight from the charity stripe here tonight. First one falls for and getting to the line and hitting your free throws a, a good way to get back into the game it stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense they've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter looking at who's out there now for the Lakers Howard's checked in for Kyle Kuzma Green comes in for Contavious Caldwell Pope Ajan Rondo subbed in for Waiters quarter number two we're about two minutes in and so it's Rondo bringing it up for Los Angeles. They led by as many as 18 points. LeBron shot is off. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. And so the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. Jackson, he's checked in for Clark. Now, here's Valanciunas. Now the pass to Winslow. Six on the shot clock. To the middle. Here's Jackson. McGee with the block. Here's Rondo. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Rondo, is, he's like a tank out there. Phenomenal at scoring on the drive, even when you try to body him up. Now here's Brooks. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And here's Morant. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The Grizzlies had made seven free throws and missed three in this game. First free throw is good. And the potential of Morant is sky high. A dynamic guard. He, he plays with a Russell Westbrook type edge and intense on both ends. And he can't hit the second. Lakers leading by 15. Rondo with the ball. James outside. Here's Howard. The offensive rebound. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Winslow against LeBron. Now here's Morant. Not a lot of room. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Morant's got his second bucket of the night. Uh, how about the handles from the young fella? Give Morant credit for taking the initiative and capitalizing. LeBron outside for the three. That shot off. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Here's Morant. Green with the block. McGee against Jackson. He kicks it to Winslow. Over LeBron. Winslow's shot is off. 
Lakers leading by 13. Outside Rondo. Pass to LeBron. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Grizzlies trail by 16. Now Winslow. There's Morant. Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. High level passer. Even for a point guard, Morant shows the imagination. James outside. Pass to Howard. Outside for Ronda. James outside. Alan Junis grabs the board. Alan Junis has got six rebounds here tonight. There's Winslow and the rejection by James. This is what makes LeBron so special. He does it at both ends. Great tenacity on defense. Now here's Morant. He's covered by Rondo. Now here's Morant. He's got five. Let's it go with a three. The Lakers with the rebound. They led by as many as 18 points. You know, his scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. Yeah, how about the speed of Rondo there? Just terrific at getting in the lane and finishing at the rim. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Here's LeBron. The Grizzlies making the shot. And Valanciunas pulls it down. Tell you what, guys, you don't see that often. I mean, when he's this open, usually it's lights out. It's stolen by Rondo. Inside. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Eight points for Rajon Rondo. He's done a nice job, a great job, actually, of finding efficient shots here in the second. Shooting percentage always a function of the kinds of shots you get. And he's on a good roll after struggling a bit in the first. Now here's Valen Junis over Howard. Puts the fade away right on the money. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for Los Angeles. They lead by 14. And they double up LeBron. They kick it out to Green. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Passes it to Howard. McGee with it. Clock at four. 14 feet away. And the slam dunk by McGee. Boy, for a seven-footer, he's got really good bounce, does JaVale McGee, and doing a nice job working on the glass there. Morant passes to Brooks. Now the feed to Valanciunas. Over Howard. And there's Valanciunas on the assist by Brooks. Valanciunas has got four this quarter. You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would What's get up? battered inside like they have. Davis has checked in for the Lakers. De'Anthony Melt, he's checked in for Memphis. Jones comes in for Morant. 
A free throw drops for Rondo. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case, Greg. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. And it's slammed in by Davis. There is a bunch to appreciate about LeBron's game. His passing is off the charts. Just look at that feed. Now here's Jones. The pass to Valanciunas. Over Howard. The shot, no good. And it's the Lakers the other way. 14 feet away. Here's Davis. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And, you know, got to admire the patience inside from Davis. Outstanding at staying under control, taking his time, and burying the quality shot. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. And some changes here for the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Howard. Contavious Caldwell Pope comes in for Green. And Deion Waiters subbed in for Rajon Rondo. The Grizzlies Find also the changing it up. Clark comes in for One Jackson. Shot. And it's Kyle Anderson in for Dylan Brooks. And that one falls for Davis. Memphis has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. I'm out called the Grizzlies. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Grizzlies making a switch here. Zhang's checked in. Feeds to Anderson. And here's Jones. And stolen by Kuzma. Over Clark. Kuzma can't get it to go. A challenging stretch here for Memphis. Here's Melton. And that time, also a missed shot. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting the ball at a 43% rate here in the second. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. The Lakers have made all of their free throws so far tonight going six for six. And love how he's getting himself to the line this quarter. If he keeps it up, it'll end up creating some foul problems on the other side, and that can always help a team's call. Here's Clark. Excellent D there from Waiters. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful. This is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Here's Clark. A rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. 
Waiters on the wing. Defended by Jones. Kicks it to Waiters. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Waiters got five. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost timeout, timeout. no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Timeout called the Grizzlies. Anthony Davis really making a difference here. And he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. And there's a minute 45 left to play here in the second quarter. Anderson finds Jones. Pass to Jang. Five to shoot. Got a piece of it. Looking to get back on track here. Well, that's one man never afraid to punch it. Give LeBron a path to the bucket and the finish is going to be something in a poster. Anderson passes to Melton. On the wing, Jones. Pass to Jang. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Lakers ball. LA's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Here's Waiters, and then Waiters with the jam. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Here's Clark. He has six. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Here's Kuzma. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Mobile and tenacious on the drive. Kuzma. Easy to see how he gets these calls. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. You know, some folks were saying Kuzma wouldn't even get drafted a few years ago. That's why this draft stuff is more art than science sometimes, but he has proven his doubters wrong very quickly. So he comes up empty at the line. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Good work there as it goes. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. LeBron up top. He's covered by Anderson. Davis kicks to LeBron. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Davis finds James. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Boy, LeBron's taking a lot of punishment over the years. For him, just part of the game. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Taking two shots. Take a break. 
Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And you know, when you've played over a decade and a half in the league, it's expected that you're going to slow down, but LeBron still going strong. And so he's able to get one of two. Anderson dishes to Jones. From deep three-point range, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's Los Angeles, up by 33 points as the buzzer sounds. A huge lead for him. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Contavious, you guys came out with a lot of energy in the first half. What got you going? Uh, like you said, we came out with a lot of energy. Uh, we wanted to get easy basket on layups uh, and knock down shots. You got all that and more in that first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Taking a look at the Lakers, they're in a perfect position to grab a hold of this series, up 1-0 already, and playing incredible basketball, which has given them a huge lead at halftime. Uh, they just couldn't have asked for a better scenario. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. High basketball IQ something Anthony Davis doesn't always get enough credit for. He repeatedly makes the right decisions on both ends of the floor. Not many big men can control the game the way he does. Shaq, your take on Memphis. Not pretty to watch how they get torched in the low post, honey. When they were playing defense in the post, you know me, Ernie. Barbecue chicken alert. Barbecue chicken alert. This team is going to have to up the pressure. Play more physical in the second half. Start a fight. Throw some bowls. Let's go. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. You look at Anthony Davis in this game, he's been everywhere. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the strike time and time again. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Kicking off the second half, here's Taylor Jenkins' five. Morant and Brooks manning the backcourt. Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. And it's Winslow in at the three slot. The Lakers have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11. James. Taking two shots. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. The Grizzlies shooting just 28%. They are offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. Brooks outside. Jackson down low. He's covered by Rondo. 
And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Dwight Howard. Boy, Valanchunas, a mountain of a man, a solid big guy who scores well and provides a lot of length and muscle inside. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. Alan Junis hits them both. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for Los Angeles. Pass to Davis. There's the dish to James. That's in there. Davis with the assist. James has got 17 now. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Now here's Brooks. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Four on the shot clock. Here's Winslow. That one a little long. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. And so here's Memphis. After the basket by the Lakers. Kicks it to Brooks. Back to Winslow. And there's the call on Howard. And that'll be his third foul so far. Jackson against Davis, and it's out of bounds. The Grizzlies able to retain possession here. Morant with it. He's got seven, down to five on the shot clock. Over Rondo. Yeah, and the appreciation I have for Rondo. He's able to stay with this man and then uses his speed to just affect the shot. For Memphis, they've gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. Brooks against Green. Brooks misses. Ugh, ugly start. The second half, they've missed their first four. They've got to get on track. Right side, Rondo. And Davis can't get it to go. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Winslow shot is off. And the activity he shows around the rim it, is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. There's Morant following the basket by Dwight Howard. Morant with it, picked up by Davis. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That is his first foul of the game. Davis against Jackson. He kicks it to Morant. Six to shoot. Memphis moving it around. From deep. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. When LeBron has it inside like that, I mean, it's almost impossible to stop. Worst case scenario, he's going to get himself to the foul line. 
And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. No good on that one. And he's good on the second. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Now Morant, seven points in the game. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Outside Rondo, down low, Davis. And Davis throws it down. How about the leaping ability of Davis? Easily gets off the ground to throw it down. And he's a quick jumper and decision maker. Now here's Morant. The pass to Jackson. They need this one. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Rajon Rondo. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Los Angeles. Well, their passing has been picturesque. A thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Yeah, but also, they haven't oh, missed a beat a in terms of their break. fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. First one falls for JaVale McGee's checked in for Dwight Howard. All free throws good from Jackson. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Now here's James. He's got 18. Green in the post. Covered by Winslow. Green kicks to Davis. Four on the clock. Over Jackson. No good off the back of the rim. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. There's Winslow. He dishes it to Jackson. And it goes down two points. Jackson's got four points this quarter. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense honest. And I tell you what, guys. I mean, with this combination of size and touch, he's a real threat from mid-range. Now here's Rondo. 11 points in the game. Here's the three. Rebounded by Jackson. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. There's Winslow. Pass to Morant. Point range, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. For Los Angeles, they've gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Now here's Rondo. He's tightly guarded. Goes up the baseline. Here's Davis. And the rejection by Valanciunas. And he's able to get it back. And he gets it back. And it's Davis missing. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Now here's Morant. He's got seven. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Two. 
And the first one at the line is good. And some changes here for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope comes in for Danny Green. And it's Waiters in for Rajon Rondo. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Clark, he's checked in for Jaron Jackson. Anderson comes in for Justice Winslow. The Anthony Melt, he's checked in for Brooks. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Morant. That one is no good. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, Sade comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. Memphis has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Melton. No points in the game yet for him. Anderson in the post. Davis is there. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Yeah, and the work they've done at the line has been impressive here in the second half. Gorky Dangs checked in for the Grizzlies. Both free throws good from Anderson. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Now, here's Kuzma. Stolen. Jones with it. Picked up by Kuzma. And no good, but he tries to maintain control. He was fouled, and he'll shoot two at the line. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. And the Lakers making a change here. Cook's checked in. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. Here is Cook. To the paint. Can they get it? And they double up Davis. Floats one, and the layup is up and in. Cook's got his first points in this one. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Pass to Jang. And Davis pulls it down. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. I think it's important that Caldwell Polk makes these shots, showing real toughness converting through contact. Here's Jones following the basket by Contavious Caldwell Polk. Here's Clark. He has six. And Davis sends it back. And they get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. A floater, 
and the rejection by Jang. And this is something you'd like to see more of from Jang, given his size and wingspan. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Davis. It's rebounded by Memphis. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Clark. Jones trying to get open. No good from Clark. And another miss. Whew. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. Kuzma outside. And it's Davis finishing it off. Boy, really solid pass for his position. Kuzma is all about doing what's best for the team. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And Zhang kicks to Clark. Lock at six. That shot off. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Here's Caldwell Pope. A quick look, no good that time. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You got to keep the ball moving, get something better. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. The Lakers shooting is leaving something to be desired, just 36% here in the third quarter. Here's Davis. And no good. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Here's Jones. And the layup is good. Jones has got five points now this quarter. And every once in a while, he'll show up and give you some great moves around the hoop. 131 left in the third quarter. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. For Los Angeles, they have had 15 tries at the line. They've made 10. Quinn Cook. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Dwight out. He's checked in for Anthony Davis. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Memphis has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Melton's gone just one for seven shooting tonight. 114 left in the third quarter. Let's it go from 11. Howard, the pass to Cook. Kicks it to Waiters. Knocks down the three ball. Waiters got 10 points. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Now here's Jones. He's got nine. Here's Clark. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on Dwight Howard. Tough task trying to corral Clark there, especially when he's looking to score. He's gone three for four from the line. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Clark. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for the Lakers. Oh. 
That one falls, so he hits both of them. There's 45 seconds left to play here in the third. Caldwell Pope outside. Here's Kuzma, buried from 15 feet out. Kuzma's got his second basket of the night. You know, for such a young player, Kuzma has a tremendous amount of confidence and seems to be comfortable no matter where he is and what the circumstance is. Here's Clark. He's got eight. No good on the shot. Excellent D from Howard. Here's Kuzma. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Boy, that's excellent work to get himself the and one chance. Kuzma's getting more and more savvy when it comes to getting to the line, drawing contact. Shooting one. There's 14 seconds left to play in the third. Jones against Bradley. Jones the pass to Jang. Here's Clark. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. The Lakers on top, just dominating this one. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. We've got Bradley. Marky Morris is out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then it's Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Caruso in at the two guard. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Bradley finds Caldwell Pope. Here's Caruso, defended by Anderson. Back to Caldwell Pope. Just five on the clock. Banked in off the glass. Boy, that's exactly the kind of strength Kuzma has to show, guys. I mean, take that contact, expect it, and still be able to convert. You've got to do that at this level. Now here's Jones. Kuzma pulls it in. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Now here's Jackson following the miss by Kyle Kuzma. Jackson dishes to Tolliver. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to go on Markeith Morris. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Morant, he's checked in for Jones. Yeah. 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Bradley deciding where to go with it. Passes to Caldwell Pope. He feeds it to Morris. He gets that one. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Now here's Morant. Guarded by Bradley. And it's Morant missing. An even three-on-three -three break. Here's Caruso. And there's another one for the Lakers. Changing ends quickly. Getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. You know, they've been the more up-tempo team, clearly. It's helped them gain the advantage in this one. Now here's Morant. Fires at the elbow. They get it back. Anderson. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. Outside Bradley. The pass to Kuzma. It's hauled in by Tolliver. For Memphis, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Morant kicks to Jackson. And here's Morant. Pass to Anderson. It's good. Anderson's got four points this quarter. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Outside Bradley. Anderson with the block. It's Allen on the wing. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Outside Bradley. Pass to Caldwell Pope. To the inside. Kuzma can't get it to go. For Memphis, they've gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Allen outside. Jackson finds Anderson. Just five to shoot. Picked his pocket. Now here's Bradley, the fast break opportunity. That's good from Caldwell Pope on the assist by Bradley. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Now here's Anderson. Memphis moving it around. The drive by Jackson, and the bucket is good. Three-point play good. chance here for him. Nicely done that time by Jackson, Kevin. So strong and athletic and really solid at fighting through contact and scoring. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Valanciunas has checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. A free throw off from Jackson. Well, you look at Josh Jackson. This guy is really skilled. I love his skill set. He's a lengthy forward who I think is only going to get better on both ends of the floor as time goes on. For Memphis, they've gone 5 of 8 shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Morant passes to Valanciunas. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. They get a hand on it, and here is Los Angeles now. The Lakers shooting it well here in the fourth quarter, 50%. Bradley dishes to Morris. Passes it to Kuzma. From 13, and it's blocked. And it's Memphis on the break. 
high post Allen Morris is there Morant with it to the middle Bradley with the ball he's picked up by Morant left side Bradley there's the pass to Morris over Allen Morris with the bucket Morris has got four points this quarter you know, you can give a defender a lot of trouble if you're consistent with that turnaround jumper. It's almost impossible to block. Pass to Morant. Looking to get it going. Drain for two points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now, here's Kuzma. Here's Morris. Grizzlies with the rebound. Alan Junis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Morant. And finished off by Morant. Hey, major props to Josh Jackson. Made an intelligent play there. Has a good feel for when his guys have a clean look. Caldwell Pope outside. Goes up on the wing. It's rebounded by Memphis. Alan Junis has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after him. Here's Jackson. One on one here. 18 feet out. And the shot is long. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Tries again. And Valanchunas puts it in. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 15 rebounds. And Caruso's got the ball here for Los Angeles. Dishes it to Bradley. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one's on Morant. At the line for your Lakers, Avery Bradley. Two shots. Two shots. The first one falls. Howard's checked in for the Lakers. Quinn Cook comes in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. No good on the second free throw. The Grizzlies have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. Eight of 12. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And Allen drops them both. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 47% from the floor. Getting it done. Bradley kicks to Caruso. Pass to Cook. Launches it. Rebounded by Jackson. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Out to the wing. Morant passes to Jackson. Buries it from three-point range. Hey, we know Jackson can go off the dribble, but it's really good to see him excelling with the catch-and-shoot, too. 
outside Brantley. Passes it to Cook. Some solid defense there from Jackson. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. The pass to Morant. Off target with his three. They are enjoying a commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Here is Cook. Nice Steve from Valanciunas. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Jackson kicks to Morant. Pass to Valanciunas. Over Cook. No good from Valanciunas. Lakers shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. Now Bradley to the wing on the left. Here's Cook. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. At the line for your Lakers. Quinn Cook. Two shots. Two. And he knocks down the first one. Jang, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Tyus Jones comes in for Morant. So Cook nails both of them. Here's Jones. Allen outside. Pass to Jang. Six to shoot over Howard. Jang, no luck. I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. Bradley with the bounce pass. One forty-one left in the fourth quarter. Let's a floater go. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Count it. Here's Jones. Outside Jackson. His three pointers off the mark. And it's Cook with the ball for the Lakers. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously, a huge win here in game two for the Lakers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Davis. Now, he was a problem on the glass today, relentlessly crashing the boards and came away with a bushel basket full of rebound. Here's Jones following the basket by Dwight Howard, and the basket is good. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Cook looking it over. Kicks to Bradley. Five on the clock. Offensive rebound. And Morris throws it down. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Allen outside, fires for three, misses. 
So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. AD, it looked like you guys were having some fun out there. Is there a new dynamic coming up offensively? Um, no, we just don't care who scored the ball. You know, the ball movement was great. Everybody was rebounding and talking. So when we play like that, it's fun to watch. You know, and everybody out there having fun, smiling, um, a lot of emotion. That's all we asked. That's all Coach asked for, and we did that tonight. Good win tonight, AD. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.